Welcome to my garden. I'm Gardener John. But today is a special occasion. We are at Gardener John's huge garden. And we are gonna learn where our food comes from because it travels a really long way before it gets to the grocery stores and brought to our houses. And we are gonna see where that happens right here. That's right. And so of course, everything starts with plant eggs. Uh, 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 what is a plant egg? Oh, 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 you don't call them plant eggs. You call them seeds. seeds. Everything starts with seeds, right? Thank you for that. So for example, um, I'm looking at a bean seed here and you'll see that these are bean seeds that are germinating in blocks and all of our food starts as seeds even when we eat meat of course those animals have been eating plants that farmers have planted so seeds come in all kinds of sizes and shapes so like these little tiny tiny seeds are cabbage seeds um, i showed you a bean seed and of course there are even bigger seeds, like, for example, a coconut Whoa. is also a seed. So um, one of the things that I do as a gardener is I'm always starting seeds. And um, the garden starts right here in the spring. I, my entire garden fits into this box. And this box, this toolbox, is full of different kinds of seeds. And if you take a look around my gardens, you'll see that I have many, 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 many different kinds of plants, many, many different kinds of food plants, and they all start as little seeds like this. Uh, Gardener John, how do we get from these tiny little baby seeds to these huge plants we see at the grocery store? Well, a seed needs four things. Four things. To, to grow. All plants need to be in soil. The soil mm -hmm. is sort of a fancy word for dirt. And soil has a bunch of awesome vitamins and nutrients, just like our body needs. Our seeds need those too. That soil is gonna help keep our seeds moist. And that's thing number two that we need. Our seeds need water to grow, just like our bodies need water too. Um, the seeds need sun so they can be nice and warm and grow big and tall. And of course, to plant a seed, you also need a seed. So those are the four things we need to grow a plant. And we're in a special kind of garden here. This is called a solar house. So it's just a, sh it's just a house and the roof and the walls are just a sheet of plastic. And that warms the, the plants up so that they'll grow faster and earlier, which is important for me because I sell some of my plants and some of my vegetables that I grow here and also flowers and herbs and berries. Um, of course, different, different crops grow at different times of year. And, um, you know, we're, we're moving into the hot part of the year. And so we'll be growing a lot of the hot crops, tomatoes, uh, things like uh, cucumbers and zucchini, um, and a lot of the things, beans, a lot of the things that we think of when we think of a summer garden. But of course here in my solar house, I garden 12 months of the year. So even in the, even in January and February, this house is full of plants. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some other things. There is nothing better in the summer than a fresh ripe strawberry. And Gardener John has a whole patch of them right here. I'm gonna find one that looks juicy and red. Ooh, like this one. Oh, it's so good. And all these tiny little things on the outside, those are seeds, just like Gardener John was talking about earlier. Now it's time to eat them. Mmm, mmm. Remember that tiny baby seed we saw Gardener John holding earlier? That cabbage seed? Well, now that cabbage seed, after we gave it that sun, that soil, and that nice, tasty water, it turned into a cabbage the size of my head. Well, I wonder if you can guess what this plant is. For those of you who have gardens, it looks a lot like a tomato, and it's in the same family. But if you follow my hands, I'm going to dig around in the soil here and see if we can find... Oh, ooh, there are two of them. Look at that. Those are new potatoes. And you know, the French word for potato is earth apple. And you can see why, right? Can't wait to get these in the kitchen. Thanks for coming and visiting my garden. I'll see you next time.